Hello everybody and welcome back to Aurora 4X. I of course am Sir Beardian and today we are going to see what we can find in this lovely new system of Bundabird. Now, before we do that, we're going to look into uh, options for new missiles. We have got a couple of uh, good missile technologies that we have picked up since we last designed our skinks, hornets, and wedge towns. Uh, we really do need to obsolete the old skink, but oh well. Um, so, first things first, let's have a look at the skink. Now, um, with the engine that we've got, uh, we have fuel efficiency of 0.4. I don't think we really need to make a new engine, simply because, well, it's already a good size for the speed that we've got. Uh, warhead strength is 16, which is an optimal square. So that is fine. I don't think we need, we can, we can drop it. No, we can't. Cause we haven't got the uh, three stage, th we haven't got the next tech of warhead. Agility though, could potentially deserve to get dropped. So let's have a look at our calculator. So warhead is 16. Uh, before we do that, we just need to go ahead and set our missile levels. And we are going for 680.4. No, that's fuel consumption, not power. Fuel efficiency is up here, 0.4. Uh, power per MSP is 0.5. Grav strength is 1.4. EM sensitivity is 0.55, and so is thermal. And ECM tech is 2. So, now that we've got that set, we are going for internal confinement. Like internal or inertial? Internal. Internal confinement. Our power mod is 6. No, it's not. 4.45. As opposed to inertial. Uh, fuel efficiency is 0.4. We are using a size 4.45 engine. And our missile size is 10. Desired speed is 40,000. And range is 171 million kilometers. Okay. We got our 0.14 thermal sensor. We got our 0.51 armor. And we have our level two ECM. So that's what we've got right now. Okay. Which is actually weird because our engine isn't is too small over here. What's going on? Four point forty five power mod, two point eighty one size. If you require for speed is twenty, which is what we've got. Ah, oh, because I set it to inertial. I need internal. There we go. Four point five. So interestingly enough, once we get the new the two tech levels up in engines, we can basically shave our engine in half and get the exact same specs. Um, okay, so, do we have everything else lining up? 0.85, so a little bit more fuel than we've got, 0 0.375, 3125, we actually have less agility because it wants a maneuver rating of 13 to get 50% accuracy at 10,000. Uh, we have 48% accuracy at the moment, so... There we go, that's the 12 we've got. Um, so, can we actually even do anything? I don't know if we can. Because like we only have 20 agility, right? We're only running, interestingly, we only need 0.25 into our agility compared to 0.31. We can get a fair bit more range out of this then. The question is, can we drop in size. Uh, 
I don't think we can. Like, our engine drops by 0.4, but we're losing an entire one. And with the smaller engine, we actually, I think we actually get worse fuel efficiency. So that we still have about the same amount of, like only fractionally less fuel required. So I don't think that's really going to work to drop the size. So we're going to stick with size 10. Um, now, we don't get a 13th maneuver rating out of having 0.3125 agility. So if we want this to be 50 to get the 13, we actually need 3.75. So we're actually 0 0.06 agility short. Like when we're five agility, so 0 0.06 um, actual MSP worth of agility short to get that 13th maneuver rating. So we don't really want that. What we want is to drop it to 0 0.25, which is going to reduce the size of our missile and give us 300 extra kilometers a second. Or, because 300 kilometers a second is basically nothing, we can bump that into fuel. So we want 949. And that gives us 183.4 million kilometers. So that's about 12 million kilometers extra range, which is not too bad, all things considered, to be honest. Like 30 million kilometers for not much more difference in costs and anything like that. But I don't know if that's really worth it, to be honest. Like designing an entire new line of missiles just to get 12 extra million kilometers of range yeah, not really worth it. Okay, in that case, let's have a look at our Hornet AMM. Is there anything we can do better here? Now, AMMs are much more affected by agility and maneuver rating because they rely on their accuracy against fast targets. So I think that is going to be potentially where we will see improvements. Desired speed is 56,000. And range is, let's go with 6 million kilometers. Warhead is 1. Thermal sensor is 0. Armor is 0. ECM is 0. So, power mod, we're going with 6. So, 0.47 will give us 48% accuracy, but we need more than that. I want 20,000% and 100% accuracy. Can we do that? We need a lot of agility, but I think we can do it because they're only using 0.99. That this is doable. We can get two extra maneuver rating. So, no, I think I think this could work. Um, the other thing is, according to this, we actually have 0.5 efficiency on our engine. Total size 0.51. Total size 0.47. Engine power 2.5. 805, yeah, 2.8. So we could write a slightly smaller engine. Where did the sprouty coming from? In the confinement. I think it's running on 5.5 power mod. That's why it's a little bit bigger. Okay, if we drop this to 5.5, what happens? Yep, there's that 51. Yeah, we're not going to get the range on that. It's a little bit higher. We can still get 36 agility. Yeah. Okay, well, this is the engine we've got right now. So 5.5. Hmm.
Hang on, why can't we do it at the moment? 1.67, 22 fuel. Right, because we actually have less accuracy, I think. Yeah, we could potentially redesign the Hornet. But I think we might still be better off if we wait for the three-stage thermonuclear warhead before we do. Yeah, okay. So it looks like it's not really going to do us too much good to redesign the missile right in this moment. Uh, we're definitely going to get some benefit by redesigning, but I don't think we're going to get enough benefit by redesigning. So... What we want to do then is we have a whole bunch of hornets and we have a whole bunch of wedge tails, but we do need a couple of ordinary missiles. Skink Mark IIs is what we want. So let's get ourselves 3,000 of them. Start work. It's going to take until May 71st. That's going to be a while, but hopefully uh, that but the, the stocks that we currently have should hopefully be enough. Now, I'm going to start surveying. So... Afanazi. Afa what? Righto. Um, we're going to get a survey ship to start surveying and see what's in here. Um, we do have 10,000 tons completed on our commercial shipyard, which is this one. We need about, we need like 3,000, but I'm going to add five. And that's going to be done in about two weeks. Let's go double check. The guzzler. No, not the guzzler, the taxi. Double check the taxi. Are we happy with the taxi? I think yes, we are. We got commercial drives to keep the ship commercial. It's going to give us a good fuel economy. We have a lot of power. We have all, it's very big, but we don't really care about that. We got the tractor beam. That is all fine. What we do need are our 3,500 uh, engines. So, ship components, we'll pull the auto mine out. Where are our 500 engines? There, there they are. We need 30 of them. WG 500 AP commercials, yes. Yes. Uh, what else is a high cost? Not really much of anything else. I mean, it's basically just engines strapped with a strapped to a bridge. Um, so that that'll run November sixty nine. Um, this is going to be done November sixty nine sixteenth and huh, exact same time. Perfect. So by the time our shipyard's ready, our engines will be ready, and that will be just. Swell. Okay, is there anything else that we need to handle? Uh, one of the... One of the salvaged... One of the ships has been salvaged. Yep, that's fine. Um, yeah, that'll do. Should actually have some components in here now. 250 EP internal fusion. Oh, we're going to hold on that one. But the Burke jump drive can scrap. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of Sorium harvesters. We're going to get a lot of Sorium harvesters. Oh well. Five day cycle. Let's see what's in here. Start survey. So, on one hand, we might have aliens. On the other hand, we do not have aliens. Either case, we got it good. Because if we have aliens, we have stuff we can blow up. If we don't have aliens, we have a system with two blue planets. So, absolutely nothing is wrong with this system whatsoever.
All right, waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, baby. It's not awkward. It was pretty awkward. That went on for a while. It always goes on for a while. Um, morale increases. Nothing special. Keep going. Should be almost done. Come on, give us something interesting. There's only aliens in here. We should be seeing them real soon. Construction factor on Ipswich A4 is done. That's been recovered. That's fine. Um, I'm starting to think that there might not be any aliens in here. Super annoying. Another record been salvaged. Yeah, okay, so it looks like we're averaging about five storium harvesters and about five engines each. So we're losing a lot of components if we had just um, if we had just scrapped them. But you know, if scrappings are an option, we're not losing everything. And we're not losing too much. So I think it'll be fine. Too late now, anyway. They've already been abandoned. Carry group alpha. Wow, that was quick. Here's a switch. There it is. Hang on, where the hell are they? You're in Seoul. Oh, right, they were just loading the, tr the marine companies. Well, we could, like, get more. Because I don't think we have that, those many mar that many marines. Oh, well. Um, yeah. So, annoying at the moment. It's looking more and more like there's no aliens in this damn system. It's taken a while. We might we actually see something. Oh shit, you're still recording? No, it's definitely gone. Okay, I think that we are pretty much out of aliens then. Alright. So, if we don't have any aliens, then the next step is going to be... Turn on the invaders. Alright. 
Um, next at the beginning of next episode, I will be turning the invaders on, and we're going to see what we see. Um, we are going to be, I think, very quickly going to have to start pumping out warships, uh, especially Lightning Dragon class, because I definitely want to get a couple of them. Um, start putting another slipway in this one, just so we can get more of them out underway. Um, Maybe put an extra slipway for wyverns. Yeah, that should be alright. Our first lightning dragon is due in February. Hopefully, the invaders don't blow us to kingdom come by then. Um, apart from that, we're going to need some warships at each of our planets. And that is going to be a bit of a problem. Oh, right, that's what we need. We need our taxi tool. Wait. Why can't we tool for a taxi? What am I missing? Eighty three. Are we short? Yes, we're short. Fuck. Okay. Damn it. Um, yeah, so... It looks like... Yeah, so it looks like next episode we're going to be running um, invaders. I don't know how long it's going to take before they appear. And I don't know how strong they are going to be when they appear. But it is definitely going to heat up a bit in this galaxy. And it's definitely going to make things damn interesting, that's for sure. <sighs> um, now, we are... What, 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 what ECM level are we at? I think we're like 3 or 4. It's definitely going to put us a bit of a disadvantage, I think. Uh, it'll probably be a good idea to get our jump tenders up a little bit bigger. Um, it would be nice to get a um, dedicated mine layer. I'm not sure how effective it'll be, but having a dedicated mine layer might be really nice. Uh, especially so we can fortify our various planets and jump points. Um, sensor boys are probably going to be extraordinarily vital. Especially passive ones running very nearby, like big passive ones. Uh, Ordnance Factory, cool. Um, so... Yeah... It's going to get real interesting. I'm also really, really interested to see how our various bombers fare. Because, like, invaders are relatively high tech. Like, really high tech. I'm pretty sure they're going, probably going to be significantly higher tech than what I'm running at the moment. So, yeah. It's going to be tough. But I think we can handle it. I really do think that we can handle it. Uh, especially because the precursors are... Like, they're not really a challenge. Right? We can, we can squash Swarm flat. We've dealt with the precursors without even really taking a scratch. Um, yeah. I really do think that we need to get the invaders in. Um, probably the most important thing that we need to focus on is going to be our Galasite reserves. Specifically, this trade route um, between Seoul and Brisbane through Adelaide. This here is going to be the absolute lifeblood of our little empire. 4.37.8. Interestingly enough. 1.97.8. Yeah. Interestingly enough, it seems like ranting through Victoria should be faster. Unless Victoria is actually huge. Twelve point three. 
1.1. Yeah. Hang on. Where? What system does our... Brisbane cargo run through. Victoria. Yeah. Ah, so it does go through Victoria. Okay. Well, that's perfect because we actually have things in Victoria. So, Seoul, Victoria, Perth, and Brisbane. Those are going to be our key systems right here. Hang on, there's a flag here. What the hell? Hang on. Bundaberg. Are there actually precursors in here? No, we own this. The precursors, you would have seen them by now. Piss off. Um, yeah, so these four systems are going to be the core and foundation of our empire they must hold. Everything else can fall, but these four systems must hold. And thankfully, they are relatively self-contained. Um, this path up here will be nice to hold, but these four systems are our core. These ones um, are the core of our empire, and we cannot afford to lose them. So I think what I will do is I will actually before we finish up this episode is I will design a missile PDC. So, what we need then, we don't need fuel storage. We are going to get 22 layers of armor. It's a lot of armor, but 22 layers of armor. Um, we need a Actually, missiles. Yes! Okay, so... Skink Mark 2s have 171 million kilometers. That's a little bit excessive. Uh, wedge Tails have 20 million kilometers. Hit 16, so they hit just as hard. And they have 40,000 kilometer speed with 96% um, accuracy at 10,000 kilometers. Now... So they're more accurate at hitting their targets because they have significantly higher maneuver rating and they hit just as hard. However, wedge shells have neither armor nor ECM. That is probably their big weakness. They also do not have any self-guidance. I think what we might need to do is possibly change that. Yeah, let's change that. So, a nice thermal sensor of 0 0.1, 0 0.51 ablative armor, and 1 ECM. That's going to push us to 7.632. I think we might be able to fit... Alright, so, um, this one is not going to go into a series, and we are going to put it as a size 7.632. ASM. It's a fair bit slower and less accurate though. So we actually lose a fair bit of accuracy. We go down to 65.9. I'm wondering if that's worth it. Like, it's really worth it to sacrifice that much accuracy when we really need it. On the other hand, the armor and the ECM, actually, come to think of it, the ECM is going to be worthless. Maybe. Will the precursor... Because I know the, that invaders and precursors run E-War. E so the question is... Do they map their ECCM to their point defenses? That is something that is really important to know. Because it makes a difference between... It, it's a whole extra MSP that we might not really need or want. 
I think a reduction in firepower of 20% is probably not worth the extra MSP at the moment. So I think we're gonna run just the armor and the sensor. 6.62, it, does, it doesn't hurt our speed or our accuracy too much. Uh, we can probably drop the range. No, I like the 20 million kilometers. 20 million kilometers is fine. We might be able to drop the warhead a little bit and sacrifice the speed and range, or we could potentially up the, hang on. So engines, size two. Paris consumption is 0.4 from 0.5. Power mod is six. Yeah, six, five, two, 12 EP. Yeah, so we've actually, we can actually get a bit more range, which means we could shave a bit of fuel. Um, the, we won't get any extra speed out of it. But if we drop the fuel, then that'll bring the speed back up, get the agility back up. Um, I think we need to do this. I think we need to develop this engine real quick. Yeah, we have to develop this engine real quick. Um... Taipan. Okay, and you'll find out, you'll, you'll, you'll realize in a moment exactly why I'm calling it the Xeno. Uh, create, actually we need to name, name it properly. IF six power mod. 0 0.4 size 2 create do we want size 2 maybe we can make it a little bit more no 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 size 2 and Xena driver IF 6 Zero point four size two create and Taiban could have gone in here, but fuck it ends up with this being the same thing anyway. Um, missile launchers, though, actually, we don't know how big the missile's going to be just yet. Here's what we do need, though. So, can we fit it in a size? Now, um, Warhead needs to be about 6.6 .6 MSP worth. 6.6 .6 times 6. 6.6 times 6. 39.6, so 40. That'll do. That's just to get some MSP um, because I have not uh, got two stage in here just yet. So, uh, we, need, we don't really need a sensor on here. We don't need ECM, we don't need armor. Uh, for a target speed of 20,000, actually we don't need a 20,000. I don't actually we don't even need accuracy. So zero agility. Uh, desired speed can be let's say twelve thousand. And range needs to be let's say two hundred million kilometers. Internal confinement. Now that's a lot of fuel. That's too much fuel. Okay, we can afford, I think, yeah, we can, we have four times the fuel for the engine, so we can actually afford to drop the power mod. Let's go for power mod of four. 
That's about one to one fuel load. Paramotor four gives us a one to one fuel load, roughly. It gives us two hundred million kilometers range, and actually gives us 0 0.2 spare MSP with this stage. Uh, 0 0.2 should be enough to give us a. Let's be an EM sensor. Bingo. 9.9 .9 and someone's exactly 10. This could work. This could work. If we want to get a little bit closer. Mm, no, 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 no. This could, this could work. All right. This can definitely work. We're, we're going to do this. So, all right. So this missile is fine. This missile is fine. So what actual engine do we need for this? Size four. Uh, well, we need a size 10 launcher and it's going to be a PDC based system reload rate of 5 30 seconds, I think we can, aff we can afford to go a little bit higher 600 is a lot actually, I think 200 million kilometers is too short can we do 400 400 million kilometers we can do it in a size 12 Barely. We can do it in a size 12. No, we can drop the fuel, fuel uh, the power mod. 3.5, there we go. Uh, can we drop it to 3.4? No. Hang on. 30.4. No, that makes it does make it smaller. 30.3. 30.2. We just make it three. Yeah, that keeps it going down. Uh, 2.8. 2.6. No, let's back up. 2.7. No, 2.8 is what we're after. So that's about three to one and a half ratio of engine to fuel. Um, and then we can just fill the rest with fuel. That's fine. We have sensor. We are at like a little bit more. Yeah, we can go a bit more fuel. So that's a 400 million kilometer cruise missile that we've got. Fuck yeah. But it means we need a size 12 launcher. Um, 720 seconds at 400 million kilometers. I think 720 seconds is more than fine. So... All right, this is what we're doing. Um, size 12 cruise missile launcher. Create. Firebase is going to be the actual name of the PDC that we're building. Um, I'm also going to want a ship-based size 12 cruise missile launcher and it's not going to be box launcher but it is going to be 25 percent reduction that brings in that three hull size 7200 seconds a little bit rough but mm, it's a cruise missile you're not going to be we're not going to be firing it very often we just need to get lots of them so Twenty-five percent. Uh, who does our missile launchers? Long arm. Long arm. Size twelve missile launcher. I know we skip missile. Size 12 launcher for 25%. Create. Alright, so we've got our two launchers. Now we need an actual cruise engine. And that is going to be 2.8 Paramod and 2.58 size. Alright. And 
or what I'm calling it. Cruise engine create. All right, that is going to set up our cruise missile. Um, we need a launcher done to get this. We also actually need a 400 million kilometer fire control and sensor for that matter. So let's make it focus on 3000 tons and we are going to run it at, uh, we actually don't need that much range. Size 8 will do. Yeah, size 8 will do. Um, Firebase. Cruise Fire Control. Create. And search sensor for the same. I think 500 million kilometers will be fine. Firebase. Active grab sensor 500 kilometers create um, we also need a very very long res 1 sensor ick no we're just going to stick what we've got stick with what we've got for now um, I think that's all we need at the moment. Yeah, that's all we need at the moment. So, that's it. We have our technologies and designs set up. We still need to assemble our actual Xeno uh, cruise missile, but that will have to do for now. So, thank you for watching. We have run a little bit over, but thank you for watching. And uh, next episode, Enter the Invader. See you then.